hello everyone welcome back again to my channel happy sunday to you guys and hope you're having a lovely sunday so if you are new to this channel this is conversation with share going i have an exciting video to make today today i'll be doing a prediction or my reaction to the grammy nomination and also please subscribe to the channel please don't be that don't be that guy that just or that girl that will just watch the video and will not subscribe it's not fair please 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 subscribe to the to my channel um before we get started i want to say congratulations to trevor noah like you, you've been working hard and the fact that you're hosting grammy is a big deal i guess maybe not for you but congratulations anyway and also congratulations to tiffany adish for your nomination too so before we get started i want to say one thing it's a real shame a real shame that after our that dope album was not nominated not even for one not even one category like it's a real shame i mean that maybe because they were having issue with whether it's a pop or r b whatever 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 this thing is all i'm saying is that album deserves to be like almost all the major categories like almost like record of the year album of the year uh music video of the year any major category that that album after our was dope yeah, like is it fades in your eyes like the songs there were of blinding light and if the fact that the album charts uh the billboard for weeks like weeks is a real shame it shows that how grammy can be annoying sometimes well and uh, i know a lot of people will say uh it doesn't matter this this that the fact that have you guys seen the reactions of artists when they actually tell them that they are you know they've nominated them for grammys like the reaction is, I, I, I don't even know what to say. So you, you can't be saying it is not, it doesn't matter because it sure does matter. It matters to the artists, it matters to the fans and every and everyone in general. It shows how good your work is. Like Grammy is meant to be like the best, I guess, in terms of music. So the fact that they saw something like that and they actually neglected that kind of work, that piece of art is a real shame. But it's really a real shame but uh and one thing i've noticed too one thing i've noticed the fact that even african artist is on a track with a uh, an artist who is on the main um, is a mainstream media already like maybe beyonce or a very popular artist the fact that we don't recognize those african artists like one of the categories that i saw here for music award which was brown skin girl it was only Beyonce's name out there. Like Beyonce didn't sing that song alone. She was not in that music video alone. So why is Whiskey? Why was he not there? And also kudos to um, kudos to Bonaboy. Congratulations. I know you might not actually see the video, but still, kudos to your work. And please, Grammy. When are we going to have a category for African music? Like then we've worked hard. Africans have worked hard to be in that to be. For their place to be in that to, to have the spots in grammys i don't know why we are still as progressive as we claim to be as everyone is claiming modern and modern and, well i won't blame grammys though because even BET, the award that's made for black entertainment they don't even have the spots for africa they called us international even though they claim modern and every time an opportunity comes in and everything is wakanda or whatever they call it but yet they don't have the spots for african music which is really 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 sad i mean if a French person sing a song, if a black French artist sing a song, that is international because it's from France. But the fact that your own motherland, you can't add the category for African music or Afrofish or whatever you guys call it is really sad. But please, we are waiting. Maybe in uh, Grammy, uh, the next year, 2020, maybe, hopefully, which I don't see that happening, but hopefully, let's be hopeful that uh african music we they have their own category if latin can have why, why not why not like our music has, is actually dope and a lot of people actually a lot of people actually sing like they sing they, they, they like ask obama obama jams to our song so the fact that we don't have our own category is really disappointing so before i talk too much let's get started with the video so i'll be checking the I'll be checking the uh, categories and nomination. I'm telling you my own people that I feel is going to win in that category. And also, the fact that Salvage with Beyonce was the one that was nominated and Say So 
the one with Nicki Minaj wasn't nominated is really sad. It shows how petty Grammys can be. We know Nicki Minaj has the issue with the Grammy people, but you don't have to do a dirty like that. Like that song literally top chart. Last song was way better than the original song. So the fact that and please don't tell me that uh, don't don't get me wrong, say so was a dope ass song. Like people were already jamming to it. TikTok was on fire, there were so many challenges and so whatever, whatever. But the fact that Salve 2 came at almost the same time as that and people the song was already lit. But the one that was nominated was the one with Beyonce and say so the one that was nominated was not the one with Nicki Minaj. It shows how petty Grammy can be. And you guys should work on that. Like you don't have to use your uh, your normal scope with somebody to actually ruin somebody's art or work because you don't have, like the person. That's really sad and petty. So let's get started with the video before people will think I'm very angry and just pouring emotions in this in this video. So um so we have here record of the year and we have black parade colors. Okay, these people colors black pumas. The funny part is a friend of mine actually told me like few days before Grammy nomination actually came out that I should check these guys out that if you like R&B and so and I love R&B and so more than any other genres okay maybe R&B so then pop then before you now say other genres that I might actually like but my friend was like you, get, you can check these guys out they're actually very good and if you actually like R&B and so I trust you guys you love their album they actually the album was actually very good so I'm not surprised that yeah I know a lot of people might not know them but their work actually deserve to be here so colors was a real really really nice record it was a really nice track so we have black parade i don't feel beyonce this year wasn't black parade wasn't a strong song to me so black parade colors rockstar say so everything i wanted don't start now circles okay another another thing if you have not listened to future nostalgia by dua lipa please 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 you guys can listen to the album like the album that did it for me this year was that album Future Nostalgia. The album was really, really nice. Like, Dua Lipa actually gave, like, I'm not surprised that she has six nominations for a Grammy. Like, she deserved every single, I know she might not actually win all the categories, but I think she should bag at least like three. She deserved every single nomination because that album was really, 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 really dope. So, if you have not listened to Future Nostalgia, I promise you guys, if you love pop music, you will enjoy that album. So we have here yeah, um, Black Parade, Colors, Rockstar, Say So, Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. I love that album. That song, the song actually made me think, like in depth thinking. Like if you listen to that song, you actually know how genius that writing was. So Don't Stand Now, Lovely Circles, Salvage. So to me, I feel Don't Stand Now by Dua Lipa, Everything I Wanted or and um or say so my actually win i mean rockstar was a dope song but i don't think it's my actually win this this category um black parade was not best it was not the uh, best song beyonce produced this year i'm not like so i think everything i wanted by Dua, about billy eilish don't stand now by Dua Lipa or say so one of the songs my win album of the year by jenny aiko I can't pronounce the name Chilombo or what? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce the, the title of the album. Then you have Black Pumas, which the album is lit by the way. Black Pumas, Black Pumas, Everyday Life, Coldplay. I feel after hours will have actually replaced Code uh, Everyday Life by Coldplay. The Coldplay album was not it for me this year. It didn't do it for me this year. Then you have Jacob, whatever. Women in music. Um. I am okay. Future nostalgia, Hollywood is bleeding. Post Malone, folklore. Tele okay, the thing about Taylor Swift is that album was actually lit. I won't lie. Like I don't, vi I don't listen to a lot of Taylor Swift songs. Maybe one of our eat or something. I'm vibing with. But I won't lie to you. Folklore was actually nice. It was. It was giving me the alternative kind of vibe. It was not really giving me pop. Kind of vibe. It was giving they, she, she like she put her soul into that album. If you listen to the album very well, it's very nice. From Cardigan to the one she sang with Bon Iver or something. 
So the song was, uh, the album was, it was long by the way, it was pretty, very, very, very long. But for album of the year, I see Future Nesoja, hello, I like Future Nesoja. Then Folklore by Taylor Swift, then Black Pumas, those three, one of the three might actually win. I feel Future Nesoja, Black Pumas, or Folklore might actually win. So if Future Nesoja hopefully wins. It, it is well deserved then the other one is song of the year then we have black parade the box cardigan circles don't start now everything i wanted i can't breathe if the world was any i to me julia michaels didn't give me the vibe this year so i'm not really, i really really vibe with uh this year i can't breathe was a very nice song but don't start now is the year Rap Circles, Circle was a pretty nice song. Cardigan was very nice too. The Box, Black Parade. To me, I feel the Box, my own, because that song is really, really catchy and very nice, like by Rodrigo. That song is really, really dope. So the song actually, and the song top charts a lot this year. So I feel uh, Song of the Year by um, The Box or Don't Start Now. Everything I wanted to my actually me. So. I feel the box might win it. If the box doesn't win it, it might be don't stand now, everything I wanted. Cardigan was nice, but I feel for the song of the year it should be the box. Honestly, it should be the box or everything I wanted or don't stand now. So the other one is best new artist. We have Ingrid, Andres, Phoebe, Brigas, Chica, Nia Cyprus, The Smoke, The Jacquard, Katrinada, and Megan the Stallion. Well, Doja Cat and Mega The Stallion have been really, really active this year. But if we are to talk about actual work, like if we are talking about, for me, if we are talking about quality, like good music, I'll go for Chica. Chica is really good in her music. I know a lot of people don't really know her. She, one of her songs was even playing this uh, project, Future, something like that. Project, Focus, this movie. So you can check that, you can check out Doja Cat, Mega The Stallion might actually win it because they were very active and yeah the jacquard album was very nice i want mean, like she had and she had an amazing year she had so many songs so many collabs and things like that so the jacquard or megan the might actually win it but i feel chica should win it no i surprised didn't do it for me the smoke well katrinada is not a new artist to me i don't know why he's in this category but all all same all same i feel chica should, like, should win it but Obviously, she might not win it, but Doja Cat, Omega The Stallion. So the next one is pop, best pop solo performance. Yummy, are you serious? <laughs> the fact that Blinding Light is not here and Yummy is here shows there's a problem somewhere. Like Yummy, really Yummy. To me, I love Justin Bieber and all, but Changes by Justin Bieber, that album was not it. Like it was only two songs, which is Yummy and Intentions and. The Yomi self was not really like it's not it's not a, a song that should be nominated for Grammy, but still I guess it's yeah. So we have Say So by Doja Cat, Everything I Wanted, Don't Stand Now, Watermelon Sugar, which is a dope song. If you have not seen, uh, I love the uh, Fine Line album by um, Harry Styles. So the song Watermelon Sugar was actually a, a dope pop. It gave me the vibe you want to get, like the old popping everything is popping you get so cardigan cardigan was not really i don't know if pop music can have now you can classify sad songs into pop music but cardigan was not a pop music for me i don't know why pop cardigan is here cardigan was pretty if you are maybe sad or maybe you want to actually feel something or you want to listen to a song that is talking about emotion and all that's what cardigan is that's what folklore basically is the fact that it's in the category pop i don't know why but watermelon sugar don't stand now everything i wanted say so wow this is actually a tough category so i feel everything i wanted uh watermelon sugar say so my actually win is because say so was pretty pretty good say so or don't stand now or watermelon sugar my actually win for this pop i feel if say so doesn't win it then don't stand now or watermelon sugar but you know, there's always Grammys always have this. They have this kind of nominations every year. People like Adele, 
Beyonce and Billie Eilish, those kind of people that you know that when they're in that category, it's actually very hard for artists, other artists to actually say their work will be shown. But I guess Billie Eilish, everything I wanted was dope. But for me, I would say, say so, don't stand now, watermelon sugar. So, best pop duo uh, group performance we have on Devia by Dualipa, uh, J Balvin, Bad Bunny, Addressed, Intentions, Dynamite, Rain on Me, Excel, Rain on Me, Rain on Me should win this. Excel was. That's one we born over the Taylor Swift song, but it wasn't a pop song. I won't lie to you guys. Like that song wasn't giving me the pop vibe. Like we are talking about, I feel pop is one we go to club and you're all popping and everything is, you know. But Rain on Me gave gave me that vibe this year. So probably Rain on Me might win it. Dynamite, it was a nice song, but I don't think so. Rain on Me should win it. Then we have best traditional pop vocal album. Okay, I don't know who you guys are. Then we have best pop vocal album. We have changes, not changes. Chromatica. It was a nice album. I won't lie. It was a really nice album. So many nice songs. We have Sour Candy. We have uh, uh, Stupid Love, I think. Then we have so many other songs there. Then we have Future Nostalgia. We have Fine Lines, which was nice too. Folklore, not really. So for me, I feel Future Nostalgia should win this category. If it doesn't mean maybe chromatica then fine lines, but I feel future and soldier actually deserve the album in this category. Then we have dance electronic music. I don't know you guys. But see, see uh Katrinada, yes, yeah, so hopefully Katrinada wins. Oh no, I know this category. Oh my god, you have my eye. That song is lit, but I mean disclosure and the other guy that I cannot pronounce his name, sorry. On my mind too was really dope by Diplo and Side Piece. Then we have Katrina that 10%, both of us difference. But I hope my eye on like that song is real. Like if you want to, if you want to, you know, if you want to dance, my eye is the song for you. So hopefully, best dance recording, my eye for me. If it doesn't win on my mind, then 10% by Katrina. Then you have best dance or electronic album. We have Katrinada Booba, Energy, Energy was fire. Like that song, literally, the title, the uh, name of the album actually gave the kind of vibe in that album. Like that song is Energy, Energy, Energy. Then we have Good Faith by Median. I don't know you guys, I don't know Kick One Two. So for me, I would say Energy first, then Booba by Katrinada. I listened to Booba, it was actually a very nice album. So hopefully, if Energy doesn't win it, then Katrinada should win it. So we move. R&B, R&B. We have Tonda, uh, Lightning and Tonda, Jenny Aiko and John Legend. A very nice song for me. Black Rage, nice song. It came out the right time during the old protest. I know it was a very nice song for that. But I feel that song is not it for me this year. All I need, you have Goat Head and Smile. So I feel Black Parade might actually win this category. Lightning and Tonda was pretty nice, but. Black Parade did it for me more in this category. I've not listened to the others, so but for me, I feel Black Parade might win. Best traditional R&B performance. Wonder what she thinks of me. P as in period, Chloe and Ali. That album, I don't know why the album was ever nominated for album of the year. Like that album was dope. That album had everything. If you want to, if you want to think, if you want to talk about emotions and feelings, everything was in that album. That album was brilliant. Ungodly Hour. If you have not listened to it, check it out. What I was she thinks of me was very nice. So I feel that song should actually win this category. I don't know if you see any other song that I can say yes. Wonder what she thinks of me. Dope, dope, dope. Chloe and Ali, shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. I love every live performance you guys do. Like, you guys always make your song. Let me just make it look new. And the best one for me in the album is still Ungodly Hour for the Ungodly Hour album. Do It Was Dope, but I prefer Ungodly Hour and every live performance that you did, especially for the VMAs. If you have not seen that one, check it out. It was really dope. So you have best R&B song. You have better than, better than I, better than I imagine, better than I imagine, Black Raid, Collide. Collide was a dope song. Do it, slow down. So to me, do it for this song. Best R&B song this year was Do It. Black Parade was dope. It was cute and all, but Do It did it for me this year. 
and Victoria Mone, I know you were part of people that wrote song, the songwriters. If you guys have not listened to our album, it's very nice too. Jaguar, it was a very, it's a very nice song. I know maybe next time I call her a, a new artist, even though she has been there. She, her songs are like she's one of those underdogs that actually deserve to be seen in limelight, but she's not there. But sorry, she's pretty good. If you want to listen to her. I love album that album too gave me uh this thing this year so i, I do it best best r&b song for me do it best progressive r&b album ungodly hour like period if ungodly hour doesn't win maybe jenny Aiko might win then that's for me ungodly hour that album was fire ungodly hour was fire best r&b album we have bigger love we have happy to be here we have to take time we have to feel loved by J luke james all right so but for me i would say take time given was that album was amazing especially the song stuck with you or something like that i can't really remember that song gave me everything and the funny part i just covered the guy this year too Bigger Love was dope, we have a lot of songs in that, we have Conversation in the Dark, we have Wild, we have Ula, we have the song with um, with this reggae girl, I can't remember her name, but that album, if Given doesn't win in Take Time, Bigger Love might actually win it. That song gave me everything, everything, everything. Then Luke James, if any of these two doesn't win, Luke James might actually win it, but for me, I would say Given, Take Time, then Bigger Love, then Rap, don't really know so much about rap but we have okay the songs are pretty they are very famous so we have deep reverence we have bob by the baby we have what's popping the bigger picture little baby savage megan stallion featuring beyonce dior pop smoke to me i think savage my win because the savage was actually very is a very nice song it actually top chart and it was pretty big this year then you have that baby actually i don't like that baby but that baby rockstar bob was actually two very nice songs i actually liked in his album what's popping too was pretty good but if savage doesn't win it then maybe what's popping or that baby bob might actually win it so the next one we have here is best melodic rap performance we have rockstar we have laugh now laugh now cry later by drake we have Lockdown and Alton Park, which is a dope song. We have uh, The Box, Ice in the Room. But it's a best melodic rap performance. Performance. If for a solo or collaborative performance, continue both elements of R&B, melodies, and rap. To me, Rockstar did it for me. I won't lie. Laugh Now, Cry Later is a dope song. But Rockstar actually did it for me this year. Like, that song was really, really catchy. Or the box to the box is a pretty nice song. I feel if the box doesn't win, then rocks are my win. They laugh and cry later. I guess in the room by Travis Scott is a nice song too. I mean, I don't listen to rap, but I actually like that song. So, best rap song we have Bigger Picture, The Box, Laugh and Cry Later, Rockstar, Savage. To me, the box still, the box, the box, the box. I, I keep saying it, the box is actually very dope. If the box doesn't win, then Savage might actually win. Rockstar was a dope song too, but for me, this year was the box. The box was a very catchy song. It was very nice. So, and it top chart for like weeks. So I feel the box will win it. And if the box doesn't win it, maybe Savage will win it next. Then we have Best Rap Album. Uh, I don't know who these guys are. The, sorry. Country. So let's go to the category that i want to talk about the fact that um american roots music we have colors i hope colors win in this category because color is a very nice album and i feel it deserves a uh, grammy so i hope colors win in that category then the one i have each the one uh the, the category i'm looking for is the one where bonaboy is and i hope bonaboy actually brings the grammy back home Hopefully, it brings the Grammy back home. Global music, you have Anti Ballas, Twice as Stubborn, Boy, Agora, Love Letters. I don't know these other guys, but let me be biased here. I'm a Nigerian. I want Bonaboy to win. But uh, Twice as Stubborn was dope. Even though I prefer the other album, but Twice as Stubborn was still a very nice album. That was a piece of art and deserved to be recognized. That hopefully, 
Burner Boy wins this category. Then the other one that comedy which is Black Mitzvah, Black Mitzvah. Hope Tiffany Addis should win. Then the one that I have issue with the where's the brown skin girl, brown skin girl, best music video and film. We have brown skin girl, Beyonce only, just Beyonce. Where is whiskey? This is all, this is what I'm talking about recognition. This boy, Nigerians didn't listen to that song just because it was Beyonce. I mean, Nigerians know they know who Beyonce is. They love her songs, don't get me wrong. To be honest, it's a pretty big deal to also here in Nigeria. But Whiskey is a bigger deal. That's hands down. I'm gonna let you be Whiskey is a bigger deal than Beyonce here in Nigeria. The fact that the brown skin girl song was everywhere, that even got your grandma popping brown skin girl, singing brown skin girl, was not because it was Beyonce, it was because it was Whiskey. And the fact that his name was not even mentioned in this, this is actually very problematic. Like Beyonce, everything on the but the fact that yeah, you see life is good, future featuring Drake, but we didn't see Beyonce featuring uh uh whiskey, it's not fair. Recognition matters. This boy put in work, but yet you guys didn't recognize him. Grammys, you guys you guys stopped doing that kind of thing. It's not fair. The fact that African artists will be on records of songs and yet we leave out their names or you leave out something is not fair we deserve to be recognized and when it comes to shouting uh this thing out you are dead to touch that mother and dress that you guys should stop all this nonsense the fact that african artists uh, they will perform songs and they won't be recognized on that track is really problematic i think that's it well for this category of brasking your life is good we have blocked down adore you i love that song by the way adore you very 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 love song uh beautiful song but for me brown skin girl she went in that was very they, the that video was very colorful the aesthetics were brilliant i know there were a lot of backlashes because a lot of people said she was appropriating african culture or that's what she does and stuff like that but still that video was very beautiful it was really 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 pretty like I loved everything, it was really colorful. I won't, I won't lie to you guys. So, best movie video, Brown Skin Girl, Brown Skin Girl. Life is Good was pretty dope. Lockdown was nice. Adore You was pretty and all. Goliath, I don't know who you are, sorry. But Brown Skin Girl did it for me. So, that will be all for this video. So, please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me down in your comment section down below the categories, the people that you actually want to win. Like, hopefully do i wins a lot because i actually want that to win she gave me everything this year so if you like this video give it a thumbs up we can share please share my video and thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe and me too i want to be i want to get deals now let, let let's be doing promotion on this channel don't you want that for me don't you want that for me so please 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 subscribe don't be that guy that will just watch the video and want to subscribe so thank you and see you guys next time. Bye.